Holy fucking shit, did you see that? Bloody truck come out of nowhere, mate. Ran right in my bloody tugboat and capsized it. Okay, everybody, Vanish 001 here with another commentary on Battlefield Bad Company 2. So I'm bringing you Oasis. The first base and the second base are pretty straightforward attacks. I mean, it's all front on kind of assault. It's really up to you to get in there as quick as you can and get the crates armed. But this base here, you can. There's a few ways to get in here without being noticed too easily. Now, one way to get in nice and quick is to use the boats. Just bring it straight up the water and just get in there as quick as you can around near the AA. The other way is to go up that far right hand side over there just off from me. Make your way down around the back here towards those buildings off to my right. And get into the back here where I am right now. So I would focus on B crate more than I would a, uh, the A crate at the moment as an initial attack. Because once A crate has been taken, you're going to notice the majority of the enemies will be in the, these houses in front of me here and it makes it very very difficult to get in an attack I've been spotted by the bloody uh, light tank over there making mince meat of my building right now one of the blue guys got down to B pretty quickly using the boat and armed it and so I can't really show you that attack Ozzy and I were in the chopper at the time as you might notice Aussie is playing the recon kit but you know he's got a platinum these weapons and he's just decided to do the recon and get it over and done with and, and go for all the other guns but once you get to level 50 mate it's pretty much just about you know get the platinums on your guns and you know just trying to have fun with the game overall well, I don't know how I missed that eh? I, I just don't know Probably should have brought the side up, but it kind of restricts your movement when you bring your side up on your gun. Your movement slows down quite a bit. So I'm using the T88 LMG here. It's a bloody good gun, I like this one. I prefer to use it with uh, just the iron sights and not have a four times or a red dot on it, because it's got a great iron sight on it. It's got a nice long barrel there too. Out of, I don't know why a knife then, I got no idea. <laughs> just did it. I don't know. No clue. But it's a great bloody LMG. I'd probably suggest, you know, using your Magnum ammo or the light machine gun marksmanship. Extra ammo, yes, but pretty much only if you're running by yourself. If you've got a squad and one of your guys is an ammo guy, you don't have to worry too much about ammo then. But I've, myself, I actually kind of prefer the Magnum ammo because 90% of the guys out there are running with it as it is so you know put yourself in a bit of a level playing field you've got to kind of have it. At the moment I'm running the LMG marksmanship I'm just testing it out see what any difference there is I don't notice too much of a difference with it. So, don't know where that guy bloody was Aussie said he was at the front of the tank. Kind of seemed like he shot through the tank Aussie jumped back in the bloody tank right then he, he was saying oh mate I should have fucking done that. Uh, yeah, you see, that's the kind of thing that happens on the battlefield. You make a stupid little mistake. You know, it's nothing really to get all riled up about. I mean, tonight I got a bit ragey at the game because uh, guys, you know, blue, blue guys, mate, they just weren't attacking the crate. And I was getting a bit pissed off with the way I was getting dropped constantly. You know, just because it was our squad going in doing the work teammates were pretty much sitting back sniping or they'd sit back in the vehicles miles away from the objective and just you know fire into the base I mean initially that might be a good idea but you know to soften up the areas and that kind of stuff but you gotta move in you can't keep doing that for the fucking 20 minutes or 30 minutes of the game just sitting back but this was a pretty good game the blue guys were moving in and you know we just kind of sat back Aussie and I a bit we made our move once in a while when the situation looked desperate you know we moved in and got the job done got the B crate down and A crate's really going to become the focus now for them they're going to be setting up around it 
usually behind that little slope off to our right there and up in these hills just in front of us you'll find a lot of guys there's a wire guy that's sitting right next to that bus there these blue guys are making a good effort to get this oh geez we fucking got out just in the just a split second later and we would have been dead mate that's a great thing this is what battlefield gives you away eh? it gives you that real intense combat sensation it's not going to ever compare to real combat i'm not saying that i'm just saying it gives you a simulation i guess you could say a simulation of combat see the, this is kind of thing where magnum ammo might have got both those guys i got hit markers on the first one then i got the second one but i think magnum ammo would have got both of them the lmg marksmanship stops the recoil a bit but if you're a seasoned player, a skilled player, if you know played the game a long time, even just as I have, I'm not saying I'm skilled. I'm, I've just played the game a lot. You will compensate for that recoil yourself, you know, with your burst firing or whatever. You know, some people kind of move the controller a bit down and then start shooting, so the bullets kind of ride up. But with some of the LMGs, I would use Magnum Ammo, not the M60. The M60 is an overpowered piece of shit as it is. I don't really don't like that gun. I will be leaving it to the last of the guns I'm going to Platinum. You know, I'm not going to make an effort to use it to Platinum it straight out now. One of my last ones, I think. Once you get down to this one crate here, it becomes a bit of a battle of attrition, you know, with everybody setting up behind it around it you see they're coming up the hills just at the wrong moments and you're getting caught out we're getting quite low on reinforcements now when you get low on reinforcements sometimes you've got to make the bold move you know you can't just hope that somebody else will get there you yourself have to take the initiative to move in now i'm not saying you go in recklessly like you've watched a few of my videos you'll see that sometimes I just fucking go raw mate I just go fucking hard in and I try to get the fucking crate I'll take a death if I can get it armed and my squad's with me I know that they're gonna protect it okay that's all you've got to really worry about when I'm gonna do one of those runs I say to my mates I'm gonna go raw I just say I'm gonna go raw alright it's an inside joke but yeah I'm gonna raw you're not doing too bad with that LMG I am but always you know let you guys know I'm gonna make this run are you guys in a position to cover the crate if they're still alive up here you might want to get a vehicle so you spawn back get yourself a vehicle you'll see coming up soon what I mean by a RAR alright now yeah, it's a bit of a fucking <laughs> a bit of a situation with a bloody T90 rocking up right next to you so pissed off real quick Oasis Harvest Day are true fucking vehicle engineer maps. I mean, it's really in built into the map design to have the vehicles and that kind of engineer combat on those maps. It's like Cold War is for close quarter combat, but you still get guys that sit all the way up on Everest, bloody sniping down to the base, and they'll sit up there the entire match and not even come down. That's the kind of shit that pisses a lot of people off. But... As you see, Ozzy died there. So we both gone. So this is the raw moment, mate. We've got 13 reinforcements left. And I say, let's go, mate. We're going to ra. We're getting in there as quick as we can. You'll see what I mean? Just make your move. You don't want to... You know, it's low. It's not going to matter. Just do it. You're going to take a hit. You're going to just fucking take the chance to get in there. Don't just sit back and think, oh, there's only a furious fuck it, you know. I'm guilty of that myself. So I just say to Ozzy, look, mate, we're going to get fucked up. So park the tank right in front. I don't know how that happened, my roadkill on him. The only thing I could think about is when he hopped out of the tank and it was hit by a rocket, it kind of rocked back and hit him. That does happen. I have to also apologise too for this video. There are some glitches in it with video and the audio. I got the audio back in the sync, but there's nothing really I can do about the video glitches. You're going to see a few pronounced ones later on, so I just throw that in there now. 
So cover your crate, set up in your positions, make sure you've got it all covered. See that kind of shit there where I'm shooting and it's just hitting that side of the building but the crosshairs and the barrel of the gun are well outside it. That kind of shit gets me killed quite a bit. I saw a guy riding over that way, I'm just waiting for him to pop his head out from around that corner but I don't think he ever bloody comes. So I thought, fuck it mate, I'll go and bloody look for him. He's probably already run back all the way, but you gotta check it out, you know, you don't want you guys getting shot in the back as they're trying to run up. Now the second base we're coming up to now, the B crate is your real focus, the one you have to get first. A crate's destructible, so you bring that down any time you please. You can set up around it and you know, have a bit of fun for a bit if you want to, but make sure that the A crate is sufficiently weakened before you start doing that sort of stuff. But yeah, really focus on the B crate, because this B crate here is a real bitch to get. It can be a real pain in the fucking ass. They got that whole uh, set of concrete blocks behind them. They can just set up behind there, and once they hear the the crate being armed, or they even hear you around there, see that big video glitch right there? Once they hear that crate being armed, they're over that wall in a couple of seconds, and they got that two-story off to the right of the B crate that they can set up in. It's kind of a bitch, so I would get in there quickly. Now, a lot of the time, uh, Ozzy got caught right out by that guy, but I'm a medic and get him back up. Now, depending on your team or whatever, you're probably going to have some guys that are still in the chopper at this point. Don't rely on them to make it easy for you to get to the crates. They're only interested in going for their kills in the chopper. Unless they're, you know, part of your squad and they can say, mate, there's a few guys here, can you get rid of them so we can move over to here? But 99% of the time, the guys in the choppers are just out for the kills. They'll circle strafe and just do what they please, really. It's kind of the thing that ruins the Oasis games a bit, is the circle strafing that happens from the Apache on the first base. It could be a real pain in the ass. I have myself raged quit over that. It gets a bit too much sometimes, when you're just constantly spawning, dying, spawning, dying, spawning, dying. And, yeah, I reckon they really should make the choppers vulnerable to at least light machine gun fire. It doesn't have to be all weapons, just light machine guns if they want. But it should be, you know, easier to take them down, not just getting on AAs. They got a real big video glitch right here. Guarantee you I killed both those guys legitimately, okay? I didn't edit anything out. Just fucking video glitch right there. I'm not too happy with my capture card at the moment. Gonna have to invest in another hard drive, I think. I don't know quite what I'm going to do about it, but I think another hard drive might sort it out. So we've made our way around the back here. We're trying to set up so we can move across the road a bit easier, like clear them out as we go. Some of the buildings behind the B crate there have a nice overwatch position. Some of the low set ones, you can get up on the roof and just sit there and pretty much overwatch the B crate. I would suggest if you're defending the B crate to open up the back portion of the building. Maybe leave the front part intact so they get a, like a kind of false sense of security that the whole building's intact. But once that back part's open, you've got a pretty good view inside. Just, you know, set up and it's not camping if you're defending, okay? If you're set up in a nice position, it's alright to stay there, okay? Don't feel like you're camping because it's a load of shit. You're not camping, you're defending. The only guys that are camping are the ones that, you know sit in a corner and wait for you to walk through doorways. They're campers. Okay, but if you're set there and you're watching left, you're watching right, moving, you're adjusting, you're not camping, you're defending. It's kind of failing right there with the bloody LMG I am. One thing I wanted to mention before I wrap up the video is a new website dedicated to bad company. It's called Don't Revive Me Bro. It's uh, small at the moment, it's a community site, so I suggest if you're interested in bad company, you go and have a look at it and sign up and that kind of stuff. It's got a list of all the commentators, you know, divided into the platforms they play on, PS3, Xbox and that. Put the link up for you right now so you can have a look. So go and check it out.
if you like bad company you'll like this site and you can help make the battlefield community grow and get more attention from YouTube or whatever so yeah, we're not doing too well at the moment here we're getting a bit bogged down we've still got a few reinforcements left but that kind of situation could change real quick I mean, uh, I've played games before where you're looking at the reinforcements, you go, oh, 40 left, and then you look a minute later and there's only 20 left. So, you really, you got to pay attention to it. If it gets to around, I'd say, 30, yeah, 25, 30, I'd really start making your moves. Get in there as quick as you can, because it's going to drop even quicker after that. So, after this little part here, we start getting some reinforcements coming in. Constantius joins us which is good more the merrier I say playing the game with a full squad makes it a more enjoyable experience I played a few times today by myself and I kept on joining squads full of snipers I mean look at look at Ozzy here mate he's he's not sitting on a hill he's not sitting in a bush he's up here close quarters with me you know he's moving up we're attacking the crates this is how I believe a sniper kit should be played Okay, still not keen on the fucking weapons. I hate the fucking things. But if you're gonna use it, here's a bloody prime example of how to play as a recon. Okay, you want to move in. You don't want to be sitting in a fucking bush. And you're wondering how is he running around with the 12 times? He's not using the 12 times. He's got his four times scope on. Personally, if you're gonna play the recon kit, I believe this is the way it should be played. Put your four times scope on. Probably run with C4 instead of your mortar strike. Yeah, get in there, get in the mix and run around. Don't just sit back. See, the audio kind of goes a bit out of sequence a few times, but you shouldn't really notice it too much. Now, apparently, I walked past two guys, but I don't remember seeing them there. They must have jumped over. You see this part right here? Yeah, video glitch didn't happen, but that part back there, if you go back and have a look. Actually, I can run back now and have a look. That set of boxes there and that two store is a great place to set up to protect B. Alright? As I've always said, mate, don't worry about the fucking destructible ones. It's not about protecting both crates, it's about protecting one crate. So that's what you got to do. Don't worry about the destructibles. Go for the ones that aren't destructible. And protect the fucking shit out of them, mate. Now, this base here, my mates and I, we like to get around the back, usually because you're going to have a lot of guys setting up back there okay it, big ass video glitch right there see I'm not happy with this fucking capture card mate anyway moving around the back oh, I'm not condoning spawn killing because it's not what this is about it's not about spawn killing it's just that's where they set up okay they all set up around that area around the back you won't find you will find guys that will move out into the buildings in front of B in that those two stories and that but you'll find the majority of the time the guys like to set up in these buildings and around the back and shoot down the alleyways and that okay so you've kind of got to get around there to clear them out if you don't make that move you know around the back it's going to be a bit difficult to move in on the crates especially on the left hand side there see where this blue guy's moving up here because they can go pretty far out. See that little house right over there? They can go right out to there. Far on the left. And that's a real bitch to get around that corner, especially if they're set up. So you move through, clear them out, and that's when you make your run onto the crates. Okay, when there's the numbers have thinned out, you know a few guys are in the spawn screen right now. You want to make your move. Saying that a lot tonight, aren't I? Make your move. I think I must have fucking watched a movie or something where they were making moves. I shouldn't have fucking reloaded right then because I missed the opportunity to get that guy that was going for the crate. I'm enjoying the Aussie servers, eh? Some of the players are a little... Fucking hell, you see that shit? Some of the players are a little, you know, worse for wear than I thought they'd be. They're not... I thought, you know, there'd be less snipers. The Aussies, mate, there'd be less fucking snipers. Well, that's not bloody true. Okay, people still use fucking snipers. Sniper ant, sniper ant, alert, 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 sniper ant. No, 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 no sniper ant. I got one with me, I can't really be ranting about one, can I? Still ate the fucking things here. 
one fucking shot pisses me right off. And I know he's not hitting me in the head. Because he's laughing his ass off. He doesn't have to hit him in the head. Yeah. I've got a real problem with not reloading my RPGs after I fire them, like in the instant, because I'm usually pulling the gun back out to shoot somebody. We noticed it over the last couple of days and kind of begin to piss me right the fuck off, mate. Because, yeah, I've come into that opportunity, like, right then, when I had that tank right in his ass, I could have put a bloody rocket. Jeez, that didn't sound too good, did it? What? And, yeah, i got to fucking reload the rocket, and he's backed up, and I've lost my chance. I'm just, you know, trying to get the spawn alive. I don't want these guys to have to run all the way back, you know, from down there. Taking a few shots. I think I'm actually out of ammo for my XM8 right now. I just, yeah, I shouldn't have really gone for a pistol kill. Just tried to hide a bit and keep the spawn alive. I think Ozzy's managed to get down there and get the crate. I'm just kind of fucking around thinking what weapon do I want to bring in. Okay. Bring in the laser beam, mate. Shoot him. Got him off the crate and I died. It's alright, though. You didn't defuse it. That's a kind of, you know, the sacrifice you got to make sometimes. Yeah. Here we go. We won. We won. Yeah. What the fuck? But yeah, it's always good to get the win, mate. Put the effort in there and... Very satisfying. I had an alright game, 40 and 12. It's the earlier part of the game, I got quite a few kills. But there we go. Quite a full little game there we had. Would have been better 12 on 12, but there you go. Thanks for watching. I'll catch us again next time.